Hello, my name is Victoria Brooks, and today I'm going to be talking about the Mujeres Moralistas. The Mujeres Moralistas were an, a Latina artist collective based in San Francisco. The founding members, Patricia Rodriguez, Graciela Carrillo, Consuelo Mendez, and Irene Perez, met in the early 1970s in art school at SFAI, where they were the only Latina students in their class. Their professors rejected their art, preaching contemporary standards of minimalism and abstraction. These young Latina artists were similarly voiceless in the male-dominated Chicano art movement. But these barriers did not stop them. Instead, they pushed the artists to embrace the medium of murals. They found work not in the high strata of the art world, nor on the political front lines of the Chicano movement, but on the walls of the Mission District in San Francisco. The Mujeres Moralistas shattered the glass ceiling set by the male-dominated Chicano art movement and the Mexican muralist movement, distinguishing themselves with female gaze, colorful artworks. While Mexican muralists primarily used muted, limited color palettes and depicted stereotypically masculine scenes of politics and revolution, the Mujeres Moralistas painted vibrant, colorful murals that celebrated the family and cultural heritage. The Mujeres Moralistas also rejected stereotypes of women as marginal or passive, instead presenting female gaze representations of Latinas as the main characters of their stories, as activists, workers, and mothers. In an interview with SF MoMA, Irene Perez, a founding member of the Mujeres Moralistas, remembers that, at the time, a lot of images were of men. All the heroes were men, not families or communities. A lot of murals were very political, disclosing injustices, which were very violent. This was true, she reflects. It is part of the Chicane experience. But what about the other parts, the quiet, positive images of our experience? Thus, the murals of the Mujeres Moralistas enacted a colorful vision that inscribed women into the center of the Chicano art movement. The first work created by the Mujeres Moralistas was called Latino America from 1974. The mural was commissioned by Mission Model Cities, a community empowerment organization. The artists were committed to embracing the organization's values and collaboratively designed and painted the mural. Each of the artists brought elements of their respective Latina identity. Mendez portrayed her Venezuelan heritage. Perez illustrated Mexicans icon Mexico's iconic plant life. Rodriguez depicted indigenous Bolivian and Peruvian cultures. And Carrillo reimagined pre-conquest life. By illustrating their idealized Latino America, the muralistas shared their heritage with the neighborhood residents. In the words of journalist Victoria Quintero, Latino America blends the images of South America with the barrios of San Francisco, bringing together cultures in a bold display of unity. But while the mural was a huge success, lack of funds and individual ambitions meant it was also the last one created by the collective's founding members. However, two decades later, in 1994, a new generation of the Mujeres Moralistas banded together. Under the guidance of original Moralista Irene Perez, a cast of new female muralists created Maestra Peace, a five-story mural on the women's building in the Mission District. Similarly to Latino America, Maestra Peace would serve as a symbol of unity, not only among the Moralistas themselves, but also the surrounding community, and even for women all over the world. Juana Alicia, one of the new moralistas, said, The relationship between us was just as important as the picture on the wall. It was about collaboration. When designing the mural, each artist drafted their own design, which were then merged together into one final collective vision. The title Maestro Piece, a play on the word masterpiece, reflects a rewriting of cultural history to center women maestras instead of maestros, with peace as their ultimate goal. 
Ultimately, the Mujeres Moralistas soared beyond the male-centric Chicano art movement, creating colorful portals to indigenous pre-conquest worlds, cultivating cultural and community pride, and celebrating women, children, and families. By challenging who and what defined art movements, the Mujeres Moralistas forever altered Latina art history.